If you have two or more ads within an ad group, ad analysis automatically creates an ad test. Then, when that ad test reaches statistical significance, will alert you that you have results to review. Now, with results, the ad test settings determine the minimum amount of data and the metrics that are being used to set these results. So then you will see for each metric how many losing ads do you have and then if those losers had not been running for the past month what would your aggregate data have been? You can do a bulk action and pause all losers with a click or you can drill into individual test results. Now on the testing page you will see the campaign and ad group. You'll see the date range. This is how long the test has been running, how many ads are in the ad group, the confidence factor for each metric, and then your aggregated data for that ad group. You can easily change columns if you want to see different columns, download your data, or keep ad testing notes. Then once you want to go look at your individual test results, you can click into a test result. Here you'll see the ad, the type of ad it is, its aggregate metrics, and then the test results. Red's a loser. Yellow means the data is statistically significant, but it's not a winner or a loser. Green is the winner. The confidence factor of each test result, the projected data of what would have happened if the loser had not been run in the past month. So then if you look at this and you say, well, I want to get rid of this ad. Right from here, you can easily pause an ad, you can edit an ad, or you can make copies and edits of ads, or even add notes. You can create new ads in the ad group, you can view the keywords in the ad group. If you don't want to take action yet, but you want to make a note that you have reviewed it, you can mark a test as analyzed, and when we go back, it'll be in green, knowing you've done something with it. Now, with the test results, if you make a change, you pause an ad, you do something. We know something's happened. You will automatically save a snapshot of the data in your archive test results. In addition, you can just archive it so that way you can see this data at a later time. So with single ad group testing, as long as you have two ads in an ad group, ad analysis automatically creates an ad test, automatically tells you when you have statistical significance. So look at your ad testing settings to make sure they're high enough that you want to take action upon that data. Then go ahead and review your ad data. Pause your ads as normal. You can see any previous histories or any other ads that were in the ad group. And then as you pause ads and create new ads, you can easily have a nice workflow to manage all of your ad testing.